Uh, yeah, definitely more text messages. Uh, you know, it was kind of funny actually before the game. I was texting with one of my hometown buddies and he was telling me how to score and, and giving me all this advice. And I was just thought it was kind of funny, but uh, he's a guy that I played hockey with for, for a long time now. I definitely respect his opinion, so he was telling me that he's got to he's text me more often, so you know, it's kind of funny. What were his suggestions and did any of them apply <laughs> in any of the goals? <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, some of them. I mean, he's a. Uh, like I said, he's a, he's a guy that I've played hockey with for a long time now, uh, since I was a, a little, little kid, and uh, still very close to him now, so um, it's kind of funny how it worked out. So what did he say? You had nine shots? That means there were five you didn't score? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just, uh, no, I don't know. It was just, uh, just all in good fun. Did you have a chance to, I know it's kind of late night, early morning, and see any of the highlights? Did you normally look at goals after a game? How you no, I, no, I try not to. Um, no, I just go home. Watch Netflix, try and fall asleep at a good time. Uh, we had an early practice today, so um, I definitely wasn't uh, watching sports or anything. We talk a lot about confidence with hockey players and how when things are going well in your field, and you, know, you can kind of ride that. For somebody who puts up as much confidence as you do day to day, do you still ride those confidence waves a little bit? You definitely, yeah. This this game is all about confidence and, and you know how you're feeling out there, feeling with the puck. Um, you know, it's it's all about confidence, and, and you know, when you go through. And I like that. Uh, it's definitely good for for your confidence. You had so a conversation with one of the officials like he got in the hat started flying down after the hat trick. What did he, what did he say to you? <laughs> he was just joking that he had a flight to cash. So um, that was kind of funny. Connor, you, you mentioned confidence. How you feeling mentally, but, but physically, when you look back now on November, when you weren't when you weren't feeling great, how do you compare your how you feeling physically to then? Yeah, I definitely feel a lot better. Um, no, I don't. I don't really. No, what more to say? Uh, I definitely didn't feel good uh, when I was going through that uh, that little illness, and um, I definitely feel better now. I know it's an individual thing, and that's not really your deal. But how much attention do you pay to the scoring race, where you're at? You definitely closed some ground last night. Yeah, I mean, there's there's so so many guys that uh, are in the mix. Uh, you know, everyone who's is in with within you know five six points of each other, and um, you know. Guys can score three, four points a, a night, and, and it changes you know, drastically. So uh, I try not to pay too much attention to it. You won it last year. You won the Art Ross. You won the Hart. Uh, you're a competitive guy. Do you feel like you want to hang on to certainly the Art Ross and whatever else? You, you want to have a good year. Um, no, that's the bottom line. Uh, I definitely want to keep doing my thing and, and see where that takes me.